Have you ever wondered how the cash register came into being and revolutionized the retail world? Its story finds its roots in Dayton, Ohio, with a man named John Henry Patterson. From humble beginnings in his family's coal and supply business, Patterson had a knack for spotting transformative potential. His keen eye fell upon a mechanical marvel of his time, the cash register. Envisioning a future where this device would redefine retail operations, Patterson took the first step towards making this vision a reality. He founded the National Cash Register, or NCR, a company that would soon become a household name. But Patterson was more than just a businessman. He was a visionary. He believed in the power of a good sales team and adopted aggressive strategies to ensure his company's growth. These strategies, though controversial at times, laid the groundwork for what we know today as modern corporate sales techniques. Patterson's tale is just the beginning of a larger story. From a young man in Campbell, New York, Thomas Watson's journey to becoming a sales icon was not a smooth ride. After leaving Addison Academy, Watson dabbled in a potpourri of sales jobs, selling everything from pianos to sewing machines. These diverse experiences honed his sales acumen and resilience, equipping him for the challenges ahead. His path then crossed with that of John Henry Patterson, the visionary behind National Cash Register. Under Patterson's mentorship, Watson climbed the corporate ladder at NCR, demonstrating a knack for leadership and a flair for strategic salesmanship. He was instrumental in implementing Patterson's aggressive sales strategies, helping the company dominate the cash register market, but the road to success is often paved with trials. Watson's meteoric rise was not without its share of controversies and he soon found himself in the eye of a legal storm. However, his path was to take an unexpected turn. Despite his success, Watson was soon to face a significant hurdle that would change his career. As he navigated the tumultuous waters of the business world, he found himself embroiled in legal troubles. Accusations of antitrust violations were leveled against him, casting a large shadow over his accomplishments at NCR. These charges, stemming from the aggressive business practices that had once propelled NCR to its peak, led to a brief stint in prison for Watson. This scandal, coupled with a tarnished reputation, ultimately resulted in his dismissal from NCR. It was a blow that could have spelled the end of his career. But Watson, ever the resilient leader, didn't let this setback define him. Instead, he saw it as an opportunity for a fresh start. Undeterred by his fall from grace, Watson was to embark on a new adventure. From the ashes of his previous career, Watson founded a company that would eclipse NCR and redefine business computing. After his dismissal from NCR, Thomas Watson's resilience was put to the ultimate test. Undeterred, he established the Computing Tabulating Recording Company, or CTR, in 1919. CTR produced a variety of machinery, from meat slicers to time recorders, but Watson saw potential beyond these humble beginnings. Under Watson's leadership, CTR underwent a significant transformation. With a firm belief in the power of a good sales team, he implemented Patterson's sales techniques, refining them to suit the changing times. Watson's emphasis on customer service, his insistence on well-groomed, disciplined salesmen, and his innovative 100% club, rewarding top performers with a luxurious trip, revolutionized sales and set new standards in the corporate world. In 1924, following the death of his former mentor, Patterson, Watson renamed CTR to International Business Machines, or IBM. The name symbolized a shift from national to international and cash register to business machines. It was a bold visionary move that signified Watson's ambition to take the business world by storm. Under Watson's stewardship, IBM grew rapidly. He foresaw the potential of computing long before it was a reality, positioning IBM at the forefront of technological innovation. IBM's early computers, such as the IBM 701, were the precursors to the digital age. By the 1950s, IBM had overtaken NCR in sales and market share, marking a dramatic shift in business computing. Watson's leadership had not only resurrected his own career, but also transformed IBM into a global powerhouse. IBM's ascension wasn't just a personal victory for Watson, but a triumph of a corporate philosophy that would dwarf Patterson's NCR. Watson's story is a testament to the power of resilience, vision, and transformative leadership, demonstrating that even in the face of adversity, greatness can be achieved. Join us next time on Historic Wonders as we examine the legacy of these industry titans and the impact they continue to have on the corporate world today.